So now we'll do a straight-legged hamstring stretch because that is a position we want our hamstrings in when we do the forward bend, which is our assessment whether this program is working or not, or this stretch series is working or not. Uh, so to help the people, especially the ones that can't touch their toes, you, uh, uh, and sometimes the ones that can touch their toes cheat through their lumbar spine. So we're just rolling up a towel, just a, just a normal hand towel, it's nothing fancy. You can use um, some very small foam rollers, but essentially you want something about the fist of the person. So we're just rolling up this up tight. And what we're going to do is put that behind the back at the belly button. The belly button is L3, and that's the apex of the lumbar curve. So if we put the towel there, we keep the lumbar curve, which is definitely what to do if someone has a, a disc injury, because you absolutely want to do this because they'll cheat and they'll round out and the disc will come uh, close to the nerve whether you're rotating or not and it'll be painful um, so just to reiterate what I mean by that is that people who have disc injuries probably have tight hamstrings to relieve some of the pressure on the disc you want to make the hamstrings longer so the way to do that is to be gentle and be sensible don't be aggressive Roll up a towel, put it underneath the belly button, behind your back. That stops the low back rounding, or compensating, or cheating. And uh, you might be surprised at the amount of people who can touch their toes will feel a very, very tight hamstring stretch when you put this here. So that's the limitation of that forward bend, is you don't know how much they're compensating in their hamstrings with their lumbar spine. This sorts the cheaters out from the real people. Okay. Uh, and then we just need a yoga strap, it could be a belt from your waistband, it could be a towel, a piece of rope, whatever. Um, so I'm going to lie down, I will put the towel underneath my belly button, L3, start with a straight leg, and I just need to hook that in the arch of my foot, and then this is a straight leg stretch, and we're just pulling it up through there. Now there's quite a bit of pressure. Well, I've got a seven out of 10 stretch in my hamstrings now, and I've got some pressure in my lumbar spine. So you only want to go to a seven, I could pull to an eight, but what happens is my lumbar spine really pushes into the towel, and the towel is pushing into my lumbar spine and reminding me that, well, you're, there's no point in going any further because you've got a hamstring stretch. Now, it's better to have your foot pointed. If you pull your foot back, it'll go into your calf. It's not wrong, but it might also get a bit nervy. So have your foot pointed. And what you ask your clients is, or make, get them to see if there's a difference between the right and the left side. which there probably will be with me. Through here, settled, and pull back, which I think there is maybe 20 degrees difference there. Okay, so it's not necessarily my back is compensating, I think it's just the hamstring is looser on the right side because I, when I was doing my gymnastics, I would normally put my right leg forward and probably, you know, nine times out of ten, maybe say, sorry, six times I would do with my right side and five with my left. So to even that up, we need to do t twice as much on the tight side. Just to even it up. So you, if there's an imbalance, you do two to three times more on the tight side and over time that they will become balanced. Okay, so the lying hamstring stretch with towel and yoga strap. Okay.